My name is uh, Daria Cherniak, uh, and this is my colleague Daniel Krinish. Uh, we work at the Digital laboratory, laboratory at the National Film Archive, Prague. Uh, we would like to present you briefly our project we're working on. It's uh, um, uh, dig uh, digitization of a nine and a half millimeter film collection. Uh, and yeah, uh, so like it's our uh, testing uh, pilot project for uh, uh, to implement in the OIS archive uh, packages system, and but the project itself uh, is uh, dedicated to the um, uh, 100 annual of the uh, nine and a half millimeter format, uh, and uh, more specifically to the uh, to the uh, Pate uh, Amateur uh, Club, uh, which was based in Prague in the 1930s. Uh, where uh, they shared uh, their practices uh, and uh, uh, in their periodical, uh, which is called Pate Review. And yeah, so like it's uh, the, uh, I think, a precise description of uh, what were they uh, doing uh, in a way. Um, okay, so we had a video here. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So the videos won't work uh, because of this. Uh, this. Um, ah, it's a pity. So we'll have to improvise. Yeah, so like, um, uh, unlike the common usage of, uh, of um, reversal film stock for the amateur, uh, amateur films uh, and uh, home, uh, home movie films, uh, they widely used uh, the, uh, the negative positive process. And uh, uh, here was a beautiful uh, video made by my colleagues, Danny Greenish, where uh, you could see the different uh, Different uh, film tricks. Uh, there were uh, simple, but uh, like uh, for example, you had uh, the um, uh, in, how to say the uh, inter. inter no. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, like uh, yeah, like they used uh, some transitions uh, through uh, through the circle or through the. Um, uh, I don't know, like uh, something like a curtain. Uh, so, yeah, so they uh, printed, they uh, 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 they shot it uh, separately, and then they printed on the from negative to positive uh, film stock. So there will be so many few of, uh, of, of videos. Uh, yeah, but uh, like in an overscan, scan, we uh, we've noticed that, and you can see it here. Uh, Maybe here, but we noticed some uh, some information which was uh, which was shown like uh, uh, in 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 the space between perforation. Uh, so uh, it was uh, uh, it was clear that uh, they used uh, different techniques, not like only reversible film, but like uh, as I said, uh, negative process and uh, positive process process. Uh, but um, but also we've noticed some uh, edge marks which we decided to uh, which we decided to also keep uh, and to uh, research uh, in in uh, in like a bit further. But uh, yeah, so uh, so we for our archival packages we keep both uh, uh, like uh, overscan and the master and I give the word to Zdenik who is uh, doing that uh, that uh, work and I will return with uh, uh, notification of age marks. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I shall uh, sh uh, shortly describe the digitalization process. Uh, we are scanning a 9.5 millimeter film uh, on the film uh, fabric scanner. Uh, it's our main device uh, in this work. Uh, we use it uh, uh, like a flat table for screening the films uh, and for measuring the length of the films. The film scanner uh, doesn't export uh, much of its scanning metadata, so we write it manually and uh, our project Excel sheet uh, and to the conservation report. 
uh, we, we scan film uh, SDPX file and then using raw cooked, we compress them to Matroshka. Uh, we use it uh, 16 frames per second uh, as a standard for 9.5 millimeter films uh, based uh, on research uh, that uh, research. Uh, uh, the most of cameras had 16 frame per second options um, uh, and the projectors didn't, uh, didn't have frame per, per second options at all. Uh, the film is quite small and it's um, uh, not possible to identify uh, technical information uh, from the uh, film strip itself, uh, like the edge marks or developing process. Um, uh, also, we use overscan to stabilize the image um, uh, in case uh, of damage perforation. Yeah, uh, 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 9.5 millimeter um, film stock uh, can be uh, set up in any way around due to single centered perforation. Therefore, there could be questionable places um, in uh, each films, uh, such as uh, mirrored uh, intertitles, for example, which we sometimes correct, uh, so we could read them. Um, in, a, uh, in our case, uh, uh, an hour scan uh, is also the closest digital uh, representation of the film where we do not apply any interpretation of ours. Uh, so for the, archive, uh, archi um, uh, for the archival package, uh, we have two digital representation. First of them uh, is a raw scan without any interpretation and the second one uh, is a master uh, with a different source uh, of technical or curator interventions. Uh, the film of each author must be judged individually and the decisions made on the basis of the context of his or her other work. Uh, all, all curated uh, interventions um, are documented in con uh, conservation report, which is uh, part of the archive package. Uh, on the slide, we can see the notch, uh, which uh, was specially uh, used for 9.5 millimeter film. Uh, cut out of uh, the film strip, uh, which was used to stop a single uh, single frame for several seconds in projection. Uh, it was used to spare some extra film during production. In a master, uh, we simulate stopping the projection by copying one, one single frame for several seconds. In some cases, the professional film uh, have double starts. It means that the, uh, the film contain uh, two identical introduction. Uh, in case one of them uh, one of them uh, gets damaged uh, during the screening, it's possible to cut it out and uh, use second fresher one. We digitally remove uh, one of them from the master. Uh, next standard interventions uh, are cropping uh, the image and local stabilization of perforation. Uh, yes, so now I'm even without <laughs> anything. Uh, I hope it will return in a second. Uh, yeah, so... Um, uh, oh. Sorry, I'm just keeping uh, the, the, the chaos. Yeah, this is uh, what I mentioned that uh, that uh, we found uh, different information about the uh, about like edge marks and the material they were using. So this is a strip uh, of example, like uh, above we see all the uh, copied uh, all the copied material, and what and. Uh, under it, we see the camera material. So it, it could be uh, positive, uh, which they used for creating the titles, because it, you can compare it to the negative next to it, uh, because it has different contrasts. So they used the black for, for, the, for the title. And also, it was, uh, uh, I don't know, easy for them to do that, because uh, it's like only one process, and you can uh, um, you can draw uh, simple things and they will just be uh, on a negative uh, 
it it will it will create itself like uh, yeah uh, but um but for example here uh, yeah you can also see that it's possible to to put the nine and a half millimeter all the way around so uh in in any direction in any em emulsion outside inside uh so you could see the like it's mirrored, so it's was uh, Zdenek uh, talking about that. Sometimes we uh, make the decision to mirror the the frame because uh, yeah, because uh, uh, the titles, for example, are, are not readable. But also you can see the different uh, type of um, uh, used uh, material. Like uh, this film was uh, developed as a uh, reversal material, but here we see that it was. Um, uh, uh, developed as negative and copied to the to the positive film stock, and the same the same goes for for those types of material which is uh, negative, uh, reversible film, and undefined uh, film which could be used both as uh, uh, negative and reversal film. So. Uh, yeah, and uh, it wasn't possible to to have only one uh, only one uh, general name for the for what material was used because they used different types of material not only for the one film but through the whole reel. Uh, so uh, we decided to mark the precise place uh, where the uh, which uh, from cut to cut where precise material was used. So. Uh, it, it is a, sch a, sch a scheme uh, used for uh, pate uh, film stock. Uh, yeah, it also it also it, it also gives the possibility to write down the uh, edge all the edge marks uh, like text because uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, you, I mean uh, uh, some some film stocks are st standardized and uh, uh, you can know you know a lot of uh, they're described and you know a lot of information about them, but. Uh, for historical and uh, small format films, uh, there are not so much uh, description. So uh, this is a scheme uh, which we use for describe the pate uh, film stock, but also it can be used by uh, di different other film stocks. It doesn't matter uh, if uh, if uh, there isn't uh, some um, uh, I don't know some content for it. Uh, it's it's possible to say that it's it's. It's clear that there's no, it's, it's empty that there's nothing there. Uh, yeah, so that's another video. Um, yeah, and for yeah, so this is my um, uh, this is my point. Like uh, you have to tag uh, the with unique number for uh, inside one reel, uh, the start and the end, and then you can have the different uh, different elements uh, described in the in the text. And uh, for in, in case of those, uh, the uh, in case of this film, uh, the only mark was uh, a warning about it um, uh, uh, if it's uh, flammable. Uh, so we uh, it, it was the uh, the one uh, sp uh, uh, the only way way to identify identify that it's uh, from Pate because uh, yeah. So we use. Uh, we use a general type of uh, film stock. Uh, what, what is it like reversible film? Then we say that it's pate and uh, it's um, connected to our database. Uh, then we say that there's no information there, and then we say that uh, edge marks warning uh, is this text. So yeah, and and the developing process is reversible. Uh, in case of uh, I don't know different film, uh, uh, other film type, um, a, a bit a bit different. Uh, it's possible to to have more information. So if there is uh, something filled, uh, which which can be, yeah. So like there are a combination of letters which we don't know yet what what it means or the number for the reversible film. So probably it could be some information of emulsion or the year it was made or something, uh, but we're not sure yet. So uh, yeah, so we put it also in this in this mark. And for example, if you have the film which is copied to the from negative to positive, and you have uh, the edge marks from the previous uh, film stock which was used for it for this process, you can also add it to 
to this scheme, uh, but we don't have the physically we don't have the film uh, at at archives, so we just put uh, the same um, the same th uh, th I don't know uh, values and uh, mention that it's uh, history that it's not uh, present uh, physically in the uh, archive. And uh, okay, so <laughs> it's like for. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe it's a, a bit visible that, for example, here were used uh, for for film stocks. Uh, they were just reproducing the uh, the logo uh, of uh, Pate, uh, but it was like made from several. You can see the um, uh, the signs from perforation of previous material, and uh, uh, the, and also this tag uh, gives you a possibility to, for example, to filter uh, what uh, values you want to use or do you, you want to analyze uh, and you know the precise location of it. Uh, so for example, if I would like to know everything about, uh, I don't know, like Pate in general or everything which is, uh, which was marked as uh, a reversible material or the reversal process because sometimes it's, uh, the developing process was a negative process. So I can uh, uh, filter it uh, and cut out the uh, 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 the precise fragments I need to compare, for example. So yeah, so maybe it could be useful. And I think we end here. And uh, uh, thank you so much. And uh, sorry for the for the delay and and, and chaos. Do we have any questions for our speakers? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, Adela showed us a couple of the places where you show the materials that you have in the archive for the amateur film collection. Do you also make those publicly available? Um, not yet. Are you planning to? We hope so. Uh, do you usually have the negatives or not? No, we don't. We don't. We have uh, only uh, the, res not, the. There's uh, some. Uh, of course, there is. Uh, we have, we have some some negatives, but they weren't copied, for example, ever or edited. But mostly, we have the. We work with positive or reversal uh, films, so we have only one. So the prints are mostly unique, after all. Yes. Yes. That's the point. Uh, I was just w wondering if uh, you could talk about the benefits of collecting this edge marking information, if you found opportunity to use it in access to the material, or if you drew any new conclusions about the material that you wouldn't, if you hadn't been gathering all this data. Yeah, um, uh, I mean, it's, the, it's, it's in the beginning. Uh, we're starting to do that, but uh, it was already, like, I'm curious if uh, there's some similarity in the emulsion which was uh, used or copied or, I don't know, like the, with the same properties uh, and parameters. But at the same time, um, uh, it's, it's also a contribution to, to those uh, filmmakers because they... Uh, uh, on our beautiful uh, video, which is not working, uh, there was a, uh, you know, like you, you see that they really use those tricks. So you, it's also a way to, uh, to write down uh, uh, the technique they used, uh, the process. So it was like, I don't know, like positive film stock for titles, uh, which was copied to the positive film stock and uh, through, uh, through the uh, image from negative with the, uh, uh, some fade out to black, you know. So, so it's like the 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 reason uh, we want to do that. But also, it's uh, a contribution to the uh, to Pate because it's 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 a possibility to uh, to write down the all the edge marks information. Thank you for the presentation. I have a quick question. Sometimes in the Kodak films, you have squares, uh, dots, and triangles. I don't know if that is the case for Pate 2, and in that case, how do you record those uh, images? 
Uh, uh, yeah, well, I'm not working with a uh, uh, wide, uh, like a uh, big film collection, uh, but uh, but we recorded uh, to some sort of conservator's note, if I'm right and correct. Yeah. Great, so we'll go to the last question before we move on to our next presentation. Uh, fortunately, it's not a question, just a short remark. Uh, there's this great publication by the FIAF, 2020 or 21, early um, aids for the identification of film stock from the BFI person from the 70s, 80s. I don't know if you're familiar, but it really helped me a lot to, for example, what she mentioned with the Kodak, what the triangles mean. You can identify when it was, where it was made, the stock. So it's a really great compendium. I can tell you later on, but it's on the... <coughs> FIAF website. It's really very helpful. Okay, thank you so much. Great. Can we get another round of applause for our speakers? Thank you.